We are Feminita, grassroots um, LBQ and T. We work with Transgender Initiative um, grassroots organization. We stand for, um, uh, we monitor and uh, we uh, try to protect and do advocacy for LBQT uh, women in Kazakhstan. Right. And, uh, yes, yeah. LBQT women's rights. And we do uh, researches, we do uh, our activities like trainings um, for sensitization of journalists, psychologists and lawyers. And also we do strategic litigation and uh, advocacy. We're writing alternative reports for uh, CIDO, ICCPR. Um, um, Sister yes. and uh, uh, UPR. UPR. Uh, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we use um, this United Nations mechanisms to advocate for LBQ and women mm -hmm. in Kazakhstan. Well, we we um, conducted um, a needs assessment research uh, in 2016 and to, uh, we finished in 2017. So we um, rely on those um, interviews and uh, uh, surveys that we um, uh, conducted uh, that time. So, uh, we went to uh, 16, more than 16 uh, cities uh, in Kazakhstan, we travel mm -hmm. and uh, meet uh, LBQ women and uh, now we added uh, T people also. Mm -hmm. um, mostly uh, there's some discrimination in uh, uh, when they get medical services or um, in police um, well, in, when, when they um, are involved with police, mm -hmm. so um, in the in the at um, home, they might be uh, facing also some judgment, or um, they might be held um, against their will, uh, lose their jobs, etc. Yeah. Also, we do not have any anti-discrimination law, and we are working with that. Mm -hmm. uh, we, with cooperation of uh, local NGO and local activists, mm -hmm. and then um, we also work on. Um, uh, we try to conduct uh, researches and show what who are LGBT society and who are exactly L lesbian, bisexual, queer, and transgender women in Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, now we are conducting a new research. It is um, called. Um, uh, right to, uh, how to say, health services mm -hmm. for LBQT women and T men. Oh, uh, I would say only a um, few um, people are visible, uh, people, queer people, who uh, came out publicly, such mm -hmm. uh, as well as we did, yeah. Jana and I. Um, but mostly uh, they prefer um, not to say about their sexual um, orientation or gender identity because it's not safe uh, for people who are not activists um, mm -hmm. but for activists is also not safe but uh, we have to do that to be uh, seen by community members to um, for to be visible uh, for LGBT community not for not for um, <laughs> not, not, not for just uh, to be visible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we go to uh, trainings and we try to um, get um, uh, no, get to know uh, lawyers to mm -hmm. be able to ask them to help in, in case we um, we face some challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, LBGT women also face, um, as uh, Guzada mentioned, violence, uh, not just from uh, society, but from the, um, their parents, relatives, and also we have a lot of um, issues inside of LBGT society. So we also try to work on that, gather people, speak on um, human rights, uh, explain why we are preparing alternative reports, 
uh, also in include and involve uh, welcome people to conduct also researches with us. So actually, our second research we are doing with with uh, representatives from LBQT society, mm -hmm. and for us it is very essential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I um, meant uh, a lot of stereotypes inside of the community. Yeah. When, for example, um, you can understand that some still uses some terms that uh, maybe not very, you know, correct. Uh, calling somebody active and calling somebody passive, and uh, or dividing very strict gender roles between, for example, lesbian couple, uh, deciding who has to wash always dishes and who yeah. has to bring bread home. So, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So we just try to say, oh, maybe we should, you know, be a little bit flexible and change roles and try to help each other and speak to each other and then agree what yeah. uh, what we can do for our family or for our, mm -hmm. for our relationship. So. And uh, in our activism, we, um, we hold the feminist values. So mm -hmm. we, we say that we are feminists and that this is... Um, and the, there are some projects we do on, um, on, on feminist focus such as uh, March 8th mm -hmm. or, or, yeah, or we trying to, um, now we are looking, um, we also... Direct uh, discrimination. So, yes. Uh, yeah, so against direct discrimination mm -hmm. uh, again, against women, mm -hmm. there's a list of um, prohibited professions. Yes, and also we are, um, we start in communication and maybe we will do some you know, joint activities with sex workers mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so we consider gender beyond. Um, so yeah. we we want to um, tell the society that there are some um, people who do not meet this binary division. So mm -hmm. the the state um, collects data and. Uh, uh, divide peop citizens in two in two kinds of people like men and women. Mm -hmm. So we try to uh, bring the discourse about um, non-binary non people. Yeah. There's more people such as lesbians, bisexual, queer mm -hmm. people, trans people, intersex. Mm -hmm. Etc. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we um, so we are involved in some projects where we um, face uh, authorities uh, such as Ministry of Foreign Affairs or Ministry of Justice, mm -hmm. etc. Um, and um, we uh, go to roundtables to discuss these issues about what is family. Mm -hmm. um, what do we see as a family and you know, try to um, discuss about it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so we are doing it in a few years and uh, I think um, we are engaging to the discussion. Mm -hmm. that, uh, it is uh, going really slow, but it is going on. So we work on roadmaps, uh, how to... Um, we, the, these uh, recommendations we bring to um, the state uh, uh, from the Na United Nations to be implemented. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, also, um, we are uh, we try to be to get registered, and uh, we faced uh, this resistance from mm -hmm. from this um, government uh, minister of just uh, department of justice um, is. Um, well, it's cutting the registration, so we we, we apply it uh, again and again. They say no, uh, we, you have to change uh, some um, yeah. mission, some some mission. words in mission. Yeah, but, yeah. but they actually do not uh, define what is the concrete cause of uh, you know of the denial. Mm -hmm. So every time we try to re-edit, but we also try to keep our key words mm -hmm. 
-hmm. because for us it is very important to show them that we are LGBTQT women and we want changes and we would like to also do political uh, ac activities. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, political activities, even the, this um, phrase is very scare, scare, how to say, scares our government. Mm -hmm. They think that um, political activities are allowed to do only by them. And uh, yeah. for example, other groups, initiatives, other activists, they are not actually allowed to do any uh, political activism yeah. or political activities or something to like that. Just learn our political rights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in mission uh, statement, we j just said that we want to um, engage the community members mm -hmm. to learn their rights on. Um, on all these fields, like uh, cultural, educational, mm -hmm. and uh, health, and also political rights, but all kinds of rights. But uh, so we, even we, um, get rid of the word uh, poli uh, learning political rights. Uh, it it didn't pass. <laughs> it didn't help. Yeah. Well, yeah. We actually try to keep that we would like uh, to work, uh, con continue work with LBQT society and we are learning, we are studying uh, and we would like changes in the society. And also we would like have access to our rights, political, economical, um, cultural, mm -hmm. uh, social, and we are giving instruments and tools from, from us to other activists in the regions. So Feminita is different from other initiatives by, I think, by the focus on regions. So we just don't work in Almaty or in uh, Astana. We prefer that term of, that name of our capital. <laughs> so we, <laughs> we are not just accumulating uh, knowledges and tools, but we saying that we are open to share and to give these tools to other activists who can continue or start their activism in the region. Mm -hmm. So we're saying that we are not just like, you know, five, six people who uh, had privileges to um, receive higher education, who can speak English or go to international events, but also we try to say we are very open and we try to give you tools and you can uh, take them and use them in in your activism actually recently we uh, organized a lgbt plus platform in uh, kazakhstan it was the first event of uh, such kind uh, for, central for central asia so it was four countries who came uh, to kazakhstan um, so five countries from central asia except of tajikistan so, uh, sorry, from uh, except of Turkmenistan, mm -hmm. we don't know activists there, and we gathered together and we spoke on what is solidarity for us, what is Central Asia identity for us, what mm -hmm. is Central Asian uh, agenda, mm -hmm. uh, what LGBT. yeah for LGBT plus society, mm -hmm. what we should do together, uh, what are our differences and. Um, we try to come to uh, some, uh, you know, general um, uh, common points and um, aims. Mm -hmm. And we try to understand mm -hmm. who we are in Central Asia too, because our region usually uh, is underrepresented, underrepresented in, um, you know, international um, human rights uh, area, uh, international, movements. international movements. Mm -hmm. So Central Asia for some people is um, invisible because people think our region is too dangerous or our region is too connected to Russia or our region unknown. yeah is unknown or so people always guess yeah, yeah. it is so far yeah. and so yeah it's so um, big and uh, yeah. unreachable maybe mm -hmm.